Hey guys, my name is Alexandra Valentine and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. Here we post all things sewing, fashion related and sewing tutorial. If this is something you're interested in, you might want to join the family by hitting on the subscribe button and liking this video if you end up enjoying it. For my returning viewers, you are welcome once again. So in the last video, we drafted the patterns we cut out the fabric so if you've not watched that and you just stumbled upon this video you can go ahead and watch that first so that you get so that you understand where we are at now so in this particular video we are just going to go through the cutting process like the sewing process i mean so i've gone ahead to use those pattern paper you earlier saw to cut out the the fabrics and their lining and I also went ahead to iron este on each of the pieces, both for the lining and the main fabric. You can see these are the pieces and you can see the este on each of them. So right now, I'm bringing out the front pieces so that I will be able to pad it and then sew it right. So these are center front and the side front. So what I'm going to be, what I'm going to do right now is to cut breast pad or pad for the breast the breast part. So I've done that off camera, but I'm just going to be demonstrating to you how you go about yours. So first, you want to take your tape and measure to your underpost. So that's the part where this breast pad is going to stop, and it's also going to start at your chest line which is at seven inches do you get so this is what i have you can see what well, it's 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 stopping it's ending at that seven thirteen inches which is my under bust and starting somewhere around seven inches then you just cut the cut out the ss following the cut out of the center front then for the center side or the side front we are going to do the same just keep your breast pad and follow the cutout of the breast do you get so please do not get to the tip of this side of this particular piece do not get all the way to that top so that the the bust point will not be shooting out or you'll be struggling when you want to attach your hand so that's it So now I am going to go back at my sewing machine and stitch that in place so that it will not be moving and I'll come back and show you guys what I have. Okay, before that, um, let me also demonstrate this part. So after stitching down the breast part, I'm going to join it starting from the bottom part. Then I'm going to sew all the way to that point. You want to be very careful when you come to that um that breast point do you get because that place is slightly curved so you want to be very careful when you're sewing it just do it gradually i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like when i'm done so this is what i've done you can see the stitching then i just went ahead to notch around that waist area do you get so that it will relax and you can also see that i've attached the breast pad i've attached it and i've joined the two sides so i made a very small opening in front because i want this to have a band like something like a tie at the neck area so what i'm going to do is to take the the lining for this and just stitch around the neck just that opening in front so let's move forward to the back part let's keep that aside and move forward to the back part so i'm going to stitch one side of the back part together and then the other side of the back part together making sure that everything aligns okay then i'll come back and show you guys what the back part looks like this thing is not hard i think the only thing that is even hard is just the or a bit tricky is just the pattern drafting so hence why i said you should go and watch it I'll be leaving it a I'll be leaving a link in the description box 
so that you just click on it that will direct you to the cutting part of this tutorial so i have so i've stitched down that cut that i have in front i flipped it and i'm trying to like press the bust area so that it will be straight enough and firm enough okay please ignore the noise coming from the rainfall i mean procrastinating this edit and it's, it does not look like this rain is stopping anytime soon so i just decided to do it anyways but hopefully you guys are hearing me so that's it about it so the next thing i want to do now is to flip flip this again you can see the way this post area is standing because i ironed it out right so it's looking all nice and, and clean so to be able to close up the hem part i'm going to flip it over again and stitch it with the um down down with the lining part So when you're doing that, you want to make sure that the two, the two um, joining parts are aligning. That's on the lining, right? You want to make sure they are, they are aligning before you stitch down. So that's what I've done. So for the back parts, now over to the back parts, I've gone ahead to join the pieces together. Okay, this is what we have here. So right now, I am just going to use my lining piece which I have also sewn like the, the front parts and just stitch around the, the zip area and the base. So I'm not going to be doing touching the, the neck area. So I also do the same thing for the other parts of the, the, the back as well. So just stitch along the zip area and the base area as well. Then you can flip it out and give it a proper pe press. So back to the front now. You can see I flipped it. That bottom end there, um, I have stitched it down. You can see how clean it is. So the only thing I'm going to do is just to press this out. And then bring the back piece and attach to it. I'm just going to join the shoulders and the sides as well, the other sides as well. Just join the shoulder and join the other side as well. So I've gone ahead to do that. And the, I think the only thing remaining is just to put zip and our hand, right? So for, I just turned this, um, I just brought the back back out so that I'll be able to notch that waist area so it will relax on my body. Do you guys get like I just notched the waist area? So that's what we have have at the end of the day, so that that part will just relax because there's a flay at that area as well. So I don't want it to be looking somehow like they are dragging it or so. So right now I am going to attach sleeves to these and hands so this is the sleeve i will be making use of i'm just going to attach it to the blouse then i will add my zipper i'll add my zipper and also attach the band to the neck area so attaching the band to the neck area now I will cut out a very long strap, a very long strap, this is it, so just cut as long as you want, as long as double the size that can go around, around your neck, that can go around your neck and still be remaining to not sit tight, you get. So for the width, this is unfold, for the width you can cut 2 inches or 2.5, here I have 1.5 because I was, I had run short of um fabric so right now i am going to just divide it into two because it's it's going to be for two different parts of the neck because of the demarcation in front so right now i am going to pin you know that that band is on a fold of two right so i'm just going to open it up and i will use one side of the band for around the neck 
then i'll also do the same thing for the other side then i'll just stitch it down okay then the reason why i'm using one side is because i'm going to flip over the other side and just use it to top stitch on it maybe you're not getting what i'm saying but just keep watching and you will understand better so i have gone ahead to stitch it down so right now just watch this part this is the part i was trying to explain so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to flip this backwards and then stitch here like this okay then i'll cut the excess then fold it in and continue so let me just go over and do that then later i'll come back and continue explaining so i've stitched it down now i'm going to push it in all right i'm using my scissors to make sure that that pointing edge is pointing very well then i'll flip it over and now i will start folding it in while i'm folding i'm stitching as i'm folding in i'm stitching just with like quarter of an inch or half of an inch do you get so when i get to the end of the the end of where this particular band is stopping i will start folding the both side in while i am top stitching do you guys get so right now we'll be folding it as i'm stitching the both side both the up part and the down part i'll continue so when i get to this when i get to this side i'll just fold that mouth in then fold the two side in and then just stitch across do you get right i get i i feel this is close enough for you guys to understand so that's just it about this band area so i'll go over to the sewing machine now do that and i'll come back and show you guys the finished results so i have attached my sleeve so why i after i finish um stitching finishing up the band and the neck i will just go ahead and also attach a zip at the back and that's all guys that's it so if you've gotten to this point of the video thank you so much thank you guys for subscribing if you enjoyed this video kindly give it a thumbs up and also share to your loved ones so that they will find it helpful thank you so much until next one bye